what's up guys cool productions back here today we have a 100 dollar clone, clone army customs haul and some cave cantina stuff now you may be wondering why i have these 12 snow troopers back here but that will be better in a sec all right so now we're gonna open up first we're gonna open up the clone army customs so first off I believe that's it. Is it? Yeah, besides the chicken. We have this. Little box right here. Now let's see. Can I figure out how to open this? So, we have our attachments. Then we have four Bible first troopers. Now, we are going to be making... A Fievel first, like, um, Battlefront 2 squadron with these four figures. But now, let us open up our Cape Cantina. Uh, in, um, our Cape Cantina thing. So, I believe that is it. Yes. So, first, we got a coupon, I think. Um, now we have this. So, first of all, we got this waist cape, um, with this thing, and then we got a backpack strap. So, that is exciting. Now, we also got this for the heavy trooper. Now, we got some other stuff for them, and then I got these 12 backpacks for my 12 snow troopers. I also got the Republic backpack for the heavy, but let's get to open up opening this stuff up. So, first of all, we have a clone trooper with a clone army customs BC-15A. Then we have a clone trooper with um, a rocket launcher. I can get it out. Now, all these clone troopers are the exact same. So, that is extremely nice. And then we're going to open up this fourth. This next figure, same as the first figure. Ah! So, here we have this guy. Now, we're going to do be doing a small review on this figure, on these figures that I got. Um, so we have the Fable First Trooper. Um, he has no face, as you can see, it's just black. But he, but he has um, full arm printing, full around printing, including on the legs. So, this is like a full printed figure. That's why these packs are so expensive. Um, you can go check these out on Clone Army Customs Figures or Clone Army Customs Bible First. Now we're going to put him here. Now we're gonna, just going to open up the uh, this. So we have our visor for our specialist, our um, like thing for our heavy, the arc antenna for the officer, and then the backpack for the heavy. Then we just have 12 of these cool snow trooper back backpacks for all our snow troopers. Now this has like the blue markings on it for the Bible first. Then this backpack just has the common Republic logo on it. Now this is kind of, I just picked this up, this isn't exactly realistic to Battlefront, but it has this nice like white tr trim on the front, and I thought that was really cool. So that is going to be it for like the non-cloth items. Now, if I can get this out.
um, oh my god, this heavy thing. So, we have the heavy, um, thing for the, uh, heavy trooper, specialist, or, uh, uh, officer, um, then we just have, it comes with a placard showing you how to do it. Let's get these back Um, now onto the Cape Cantina. Uh, Cape Cantina is, um, really cool. They have all the custom stuff. They have all, like, these custom capes for your minifigures. So, first of all, we have this right here, um, for the officer figure, um, so we're gonna put that there, then we have this for the heavy figure, so, um, this is all it's going to be for the, uh, haul, but I'll be back when we have all our stuff on. Yo, hey, what's up guys, so, we are back here with the finished clone troopers, and snow troopers. So, first of all, I want to say that the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, I mean the Snow Trooper Backpack, looks good, but it will make your helmet uh, not very sturdy. But in general, I think it lo makes your Snow Troopers look really good. But now, we are on to the heavy of the Battle Fleet. So, first, where did we get? So, first. First, we have his visor on his helmet. Then we have his, like, um, heavy armor on that. And then we have his backpack and his little Republic insignia on the back um, with the black. So, in general, I think this is a really cool figure. Now we're on to the officer. So the officer The officer first of all has his arc antenna which can ah which can move up and down. Then we have his waist cape. This so, with the Cape Cantina stuff, or basically any capes, just hold them down for about, like, 30 to 20 seconds. I still need to hold this one down longer. And then we just have his cape in general. Um, I really like this figure. He looks really good. So, I'll put him back there. Now we have the specialist. This is pretty common. He just has the visor that can flip up and down. So he can snipe the battle dudes. Um, but that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a very good thing. Like, if you like Battlefront and you just want to, like, have some Lego figures, I would definitely recommend doing this. You just have to go to the Cape Cant Cantina and Clone Army Customs. Um... But all 12 of these Snow Trooper backpacks, as well as all the Clone Army Customs, that does include this <coughs> thing, uh, the Heavy Trooper backpack thing, and then this guy's waist cape will total up to a $100. Um, it's probably more, but I got this during the 20% off sale on Clone Army Customs, so if you go there now... I think you'll still have, um, you'll have, what's it called? Ah, you'll still have some, <coughs> you'll still have, uh, you'll, it'll be priced about this. Um, it, the price will only change like $10 or so, or 20 bucks. Um, like, you don't need to get it for your snow troopers. Like, I just wanted to do that um, because I think it makes them look a little bit better. But, um, thank you for watching yet again, and that'll be it for this video.